okay uh, in this problem the magnitude of the 23 newton harmonic force is acting on a undamped system with a mass of 10 kg and stiffness of uh, 1000 newton per meter the harmonic force frequency is uh, twice the system natural frequency and in initial condition given by the x naught is equal 0 meters and v naught is equal 0 0.2 meters per second to obtain the equation of motion for the system okay this is the problem uh, given so then according to this uh, problem let me draw the uh, sketch including all the detail okay the mass is uh, 10 kilogram 10 kilogram undamped system undamped system steam spring stiffness also given 1000 newton per meter then ft forcing function is acting uh, the magnitude of the forcing function is equal to 23 newton okay ft is equal the harmonic force harmonic force is given so I am going to take the cos function 23 cos omega f sorry uh, omega f into t here the forcing uh, function frequency omega f okay omega f so then we can easily calculate the system natural frequency or the data is given system natural frequency omega n is equal k divided by m square root k divided by m uh, square root the omega n is equal what is k 1000 divided by uh, m n square root that is equal to 10 radians per second that is equal to 10 radians per second so then uh, Omega f, what is omega f? The twice the system natural frequency that is equal to 20 radians per second. 20 radians per second. Then the, this data is given. This data is given. So then the problem is asking to find the equation of motion for the system. Equation of motion for the system. Okay. For this kind of system, for this kind of system, the catastrophic equation for the motion we can write is a, a second order differential equation with the constant uh, coefficient of type non homogeneous differential equation we are getting if we apply the f is equal m a if is equal m a consider the motion of m mass we are getting this equation it's a double dot is e uh, plus uh, omega n square x is equal f divided by m cos omega t we are getting this equation the second order non homogeneous differential equation by solving this differential equation here non homogeneous differential equation the for the solution we are having the two part called complementary function solution and the particular integral solution okay. by equating the right hand side to a zero we are getting the complementary function solution that means uh, xct sorry xct we are getting by equating x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0 what we are getting that is equal to is a is like a simple harmonic motion with the equation so we are getting a cos uh, omega n t plus b sin omega n okay so then the here it is a trigonometric non-homogeneous part for the trigonometric this uh, non-homogeneous part we are getting uh, x uh, p t it is uh, like something like this uh, x uh, cos omega t plus in sine uh, omega t so then uh, 
xpt we can write uh, using this kind of format uh, actually x uh, cos omega t minus uh, 5 in this kind of format we can write but uh, in this case uh, xp for the xpt we are getting uh, for the x uh, we are getting f uh, divided by m into omega n square minus uh, omega square for the x we are getting then the cos for the 5 we are getting 0 because uh, there is no uh, damper so that uh, we are getting 5 is equal to 0 so then if we total solution we can write uh, by including these uh, solutions total solution equation of motion for this uh, mrs that is equal to complementary function solution plus x uh, cos omega n t plus b sin omega n t plus uh, f divided by m omega n square minus omega square cos omega t these are the these are the equation we obtain the for the motion of the m mass motion of the this uh, mass 10 kilogram mass so then uh, a b are unknown constant a b are unknown constant we have to determine using the boundary conditions what are the boundary conditions given what are the boundary conditions given so then uh, x uh, t is equal to 0 that value is given x naught let's take the x naught then uh, later we can substitute the given values x t is equal sorry x dot x dot t is equal to 0 it will is equal v naught by substituting these values in this equation uh, by uh, by uh, Substituting these values in this equation, we have the two equations, then we can find these two unknown a and b. So then the final equation we can write, actually we discussed in this, uh, this uh, obtaining this equation in lectures. Please go through the lectures. So then I will write the, directly write the uh, final equation. We have in this equation V0 divided by omega n sin omega t plus x dot minus uh, delta st here, uh, here I will explain that one I will explain that one delta st 1 minus omega divided by omega n into square Uh, omega n t so this is also omega n plus delta s t divided by 1 minus omega divided by omega n into square cos omega t ok this is the final equation we are getting uh, by substituting this values. Here, the, what is for the delta st? Delta st means f divided by k. f divided by k is equal delta st. f divided by k is equal delta st. Then, uh, then this is the final equation we are getting for the xt. We just want to substitute the uh, given boundary condition, then we can reduce this equation to a given uh, problem according to our problem so let me upload this uh, given values in this equation what are the given values x uh, t is equal to 0 what is the value x uh, t is equal what is the value Sorry x uh, x naught is equal to 0 that is equal to 0 then uh, x uh, dot t is equal to 0 what is the value that is equal to 0 
then these two values I am going to substitute in this equation in this equation this is the equation we are we obtained so then I am going to substitute these values uh, in this equation xt is equal v not velocity at the point is the 0 0.2 then uh, system natural frequency system natural frequency is equal to 10 sine again the 10 t plus uh, x naught x naught is equal to 0 x naught is equal to 0 so then uh, static deflection so first of all i am going to calculate the delta st delta st is equal to f divided by k so what is the f uh, f is equal magnitude of the forcing function frequency uh, forcing function the 23 divided by k thousand 0 0.023 uh, that is equal to yeah here here, here i am putting the minus Delta ST, delta ST, 0 0.023 divided by 1 minus a frequency ratio. Frequency ratio is equal to uh, omega divided by omega n is equal uh, 20 divided by 10, that is equal to 2. The, the 2 into square. cos uh, 10t plus delta st again 0 0.023 divided by 1 minus frequency ratio 2 into square cos 20 into t cos 20 into t so then uh, you can simplify this equation further you can simplify this equation further Finally, we are getting this equation. Xt is equal 0 0.02 sin 10t plus 7.66 uh, 7 into 10 to the power of minus 3 cos uh, 10t yeah. cos uh, 10t is equal to my, yeah. uh, minus cos 20t this is the, uh, this is the answer I am getting I already calculated this answer then this is how m mass is uh, vibrating if we plot this uh, using the MATLAB or something, you will get uh, this kind of uh, graph. You will get uh, this kind of graph. Okay, you will get this kind of graph uh, for the motion of the mass under the, this under this excitation force. Okay, thank you.